O beloved mother, you know so well the ways of godliness and love. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the fellow pilgrims. Your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze toward us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the august mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine love, will see all things in eternal love and unity. <coughs> Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your grace. <coughs> Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, and then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness. Let the bones you have left me revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a set of spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your heart. With the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Who oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall bring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open oh, my lips, and my mouth shall declare your grace. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart, you will not spur. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, 
no word to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord, for you are great and marvelous deeds. You who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. Who oh, give your strength to your servant? And save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor, that my foes may see to their shame, that you can saw me and give me your hand. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus offered up prayers with loud cries and tears, and he was heard. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right. And all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us up forever, or we void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promise to multiply their offspring, like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day, because of our sin. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, <coughs> sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though we were holocaust of rams and bulls. For our thousands of fat So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. We have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his love day by day, tell the congregations his glory, and his wonders among all the the Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are mocked. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his our majesty and faith and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord your families of peoples, give the Lord We may 
Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.